Now I'm going to uh, show you the process of dry mounting of this uh, landscape painting we just did. And uh, it will be mounted on a silk scroll. Um, you can see this is a blank scroll you can get from uh, Blue Heron Arts. And this is uh, uh, the process. We're going to uh, first iron the uh, adhesive. It's a like silicone paper with an uh, adhesive film um, attached to a backing paper. Uh, we'll, we'll put this uh, on the back of the painting, just like a traditional wet mounting, you put uh, the backing paper first. And then we'll peel off the release paper and then eye on the scroll. So the first step is to put the painting with the backing. The first thing first, we need to spray some uh, water, um, water mist, very fine, you know, just dampen the paper, just like you would do with a, a shirt, when you iron a shirt. Uh, spray some water, not too much, just uh, enough to relax the rice paper, so uh, if there's a wrinkle, the wrinkle would be easier to iron out. Um, I think the best practice you need to spray without the uh, silicone paper because if you spray too much you might uh, got the bubbles. Another thing you need to have is a, a protection, protecting piece of paper. It should be bigger than this painting. The next step is to um, iron. I set the temperature between silk and the wool. It's a little bit uh, higher than uh, normal because the painting is uh, relatively large. So I need to uh, to have a hotter iron, but not too hot uh, to the extent to fix the painting too quickly. So. If you if you a slow uh, iron uh, user, you might uh, use a hotter. I mean, a lower temperature. If you move faster, the temperature could be higher. Uh, according to instructions, it's about uh, 180 Fahrenheit. So between silk and the wall, somewhere between, you have to experiment with yourself uh, to find the best combination of. Uh, Iron, iron speed and uh, the temperature. So you can do section by section. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Now the other part. So I iron from this side to this side gradually. I start where I stopped from the last section. Just the from center out. You don't have to apply too much pressure, just to, uh, use the temperature to do the work. You don't have to press that hard. But you cannot stop any single place, you have to keep moving. Okay, I'm going to finish the last section from the center out. Two corners. Now we are ready to iron on um, to the uh, scroll. So uh, we have backed the original painting with a piece of silicone paper. Uh, the first thing uh, I need to do is to remove the uh, backing, the protecting paper, the, uh, the release paper we call it. Mm. You can see this is a very fun uh, process. Now the, the painting is uh, backed with a piece of uh, 
uh, silicon film. It's very flexible, yet uh, already protected. You can see uh, the painting is uh, flat and uh, ready to go onto this uh, scroll. We need to match the size. You can trim the extra paper if you want, but we already did that before we uh, did the mounting first. So. That. You can use this release paper as dust pa uh, protecting paper now. So I align the painting exactly as I want. I cover the painting with the uh, protecting sheets. Mm. So just iron on the actually I just realized the iron uh, shut itself off. Uh, many iron has this uh, auto shut off function. Either uh, you stop uh, ironing for a minute, or uh, the temperature reach a certain point, and you will not. Um, you will not switch on automatically, so I have to unplug and plug back in. So the first few strokes didn't count because the temperature is not enough. So if the painting is uh, large like this, you have to do it uh, section by section, and uh, just um, you know uh, make firm one section and then uh, gradually move to the other direction. So you drive all the air to the open the open section, just like that, and then just. We call it a set, heat set, heat set it. So every section takes about one minute. Just like that. Then we move on to the next. Now we are finishing the last section. Let's just see the whole picture now. So you can see the uh, painting is now. Uh, flat and uh, now the color shows off um, very enhanced. You can see all the details of the stroke, uh, the watermark and uh, every little thing um, is confirmed and uh, um, enhanced. So that's the uh, Chinese saying, 30% uh, painting, 70% mounting. I mean 30% painting, 70% uh, the effect 
the penny effect rely on this uh, mounting process. So don't complain your painting is uh, not flat uh, before mounting or even before painting. So everything um, is uh, uh, settled after the mounting process. So that's very important uh, finishing part of this uh, uh, painting form. Uh, thank everybody on YouTube for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.